Hello friends and welcome back to story time. I'm Miss Lisa from Children's Department and today we are going to be reading A Couch for Llama by Leah Gilbert. Do you like llamas? Because I love llamas. But all right, let's get started. Uh-oh. I think this one's going to be a good one. So, A Couch for Llama by Leah Gilbert. The Lago family's couch was very well-loved. It was the perfect spot for snuggling and reading, for card playing and for building forts and hide and seeking, and they had many good times together. Well, maybe a few too many good times. Look at that. <gasps> Whee! Uh oh, oops. Oh my goodness. Hey! <sighs> well, one day they realized it was time for a new couch. So they piled into the family car and off they went to find one. There they go. But what's this over here? Oh no. What do you think's gonna happen? Well, looks like they got to the couch store. So they were looking for a couch, one that was not too big or too small. Ooh, that looks uncomfortable. But one that was just right. So the Lago family found the perfect couch and they're loading it onto their car. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, now look at that whoosh. But on the way home, something went wrong. Yikes. Hmm. Llama found a couch. Hmm. <gasps> look at him sniffing it. Sniff. Sniff, sniff. Sniffity, sniff. Hmm. Llama brayed hello to the couch. Hmm. But the couch didn't say anything. Hmm. Llama tried to share his lunch. But the couch didn't seem to have much of an appetite. Hmm. So, Llama ate the couch instead. Look at him. Ugh. <coughs> Oof. It tasted worse than a dry, dusty tumbleweed. Ugh. Ugh. The couch was useless. Ugh. Take it away. But it just... <coughs> yeah. Look at him trying to push the couch. Ugh. But it just wouldn't budge. Hmm. The Lago family noted something was missing. <gasps> oh no! Where's the couch? <gasps> Meanwhile, Llama decided to just ignore the couch and pretend it wasn't there. <laughs> this got very, very boring. So Llama snuck up and... <gasps> Bounced, boing, and bouncy, bouncy, bounced, boing, whirled, and twirled, boing, bumped, boing, and jumped, boing, and fell down into the smooshy, mooshy, fluffy, puffy cushions. <sighs> he actually finally completely loved the couch. Look how happy he is. The Lago family found their couch. Uh-oh. And also, a llama. Oh, that llama. Specifically, a stubborn, couch-loving kind of llama. Look at him. They're trying to move him, but he just will not move. He loves that couch way too much. But then, they had a great idea. Oh, looks like they got the couch, and llama looks so sad. But they're saying, don't worry, Llama, we'll be back. Hmm. What do you think is going to happen? <gasps> oh, boy, what a surprise! A couch just for Llama. It's their old couch, the well-loved couch. <sighs> and at the end of the day, the Lago family was happy with their new couch.
There they are. But Llama was the happiest. The end. Well, all right. I hope you enjoyed our story today, and I hope to see you guys soon. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and have a good day or night or whatever time you're watching. Bye!